Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. Today we are hoping to advance just a little bit. I've sort of, I've, I've been doing all kinds of different things and I've been getting bogged down a little bit lately on just the basic survival. So we need to first take steps to rectify this situation. I need to get past basic survival. A lot of people have been saying I really need to hurry up and get some planters put in here and I need to go and get some fruits and stuff to put into said planters. So that is going to be my main priority today. It's going to be the first thing that I do. But before I do that, I decided I'd like to have some windows right here in this habitat here. So we're going to go for a window right there. And I'm going to put it right there like that. We just need a piece of glass. There we go. Now we're talking. And I'm going to do another one right over here. You, Oh, I can put them onto there as well. I'm not actually going to. I'm going to keep that one for extending out. But this one here is going to become a window. And there we go. Look at that. Oh, that is fantastic. That is just gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. What is it? How do we make a... There was one other thing I wanted to make. I want to go for exterior modules. Uh, the fixed position lighting solution. That is glass and titanium. I quite like this. Uh, artificial plant bed suitable for use on land or underwater. That's an exterior one though, so I need interior pieces. Alien containment, bulkhead, bioreactor, interior modules. There we go, interior grow bed. Artificial plant bed suitable for interior use only. And composite plant bot uh, containing synthetic soil. I think it's the grow bed that we need. So I also want the battery charger because I don't yet have it. And I was told that it was in the big wreck in one of the rooms when we were there. So I need to go and I need to look for that one as well. Um, so we're going to go back to the big wreck first. I'm going to see if I can find that one. I can't actually remember where it is. Right, we don't have what I'm after in there. Do we have it in here? We have no titanium in there either. I built another locker over here. Uh, I got some salvage and I got a couple of titanium. Oh, I do have some magnetite. I was looking at something that needed that, and now I can't remember what it is. I, I, you know, I, I honestly, I don't know. Right, let's go into here a minute, and we'll go to there. I want titanium. I've been using up all the titanium. I know that you can go and get it really, really quickly and easily, so I haven't sort of been worrying about it very much. Um, but maybe I should concern myself with it a little bit more. Right, so we've got an interior grow bed, which I'm going to plonk down right over. I'm actually going to try and put it over this way a little bit right there I'll try and put one over the other side as well a bit later on when we've got a bit more space right so we've got an interior grow bed there uh, do I have anything I can put in I don't have anything at the moment planter there I, I need to be able to put something in it I've got some seeds of some kind I can't remember what seeds they are they're in here open locker open open locker uh, okay that's just being weird now I'm stuck and uh, we have a game crash we have a game crash oh there we go now now it's worked right let's try that again there we go now it's actually working okay uh, and it's not in there anyway <laughs> after all that okay why are we doing this this <laughs> okay it's um it's it doesn't it doesn't want me to, to look into it why? Why can't I look in it? I want to get into this locker. There we go. I, can't, I really don't know why. Right, voxel shrub is not the one. Speckled rattler, that's not what I want. Uh, right, so it's none of those that I've got anyway. It's none of those. We're going to have to go back to the island to get the items that I want. It's the potato things and the lantern fruits. We want to plant them in there. As soon as we got some, we'll be able to get some more, another planter going and we'll be able to stick some in there as well. I've got no... I got two titanium on me. Did I have some more titanium in that locker there? I think maybe I did. No, I didn't. I already took it out. Right. In which case, we'll leave the salt deposit and we'll leave the copper ore and the gold and the sulfur. Uh, I d you know, I don't actually remember. We've got a few other bits... Which I want to go out and I want to have a look at. We've also got our new vehicle that we're going to go and take a look at. This is the very important one. There it is. No, it's not. There it is. This one. We haven't even looked at this one yet. Enter the Seamoth. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ideal. Okay, this thing looks cool. <laughs> so what are the what are the um, things that you can get? Can you pick stuff up with this thing? 
Well, let's find out. Let's see if we can pick something up. There's some salvage down there. I cannot pick up. Ah, I see. So you've got to use this to get close, and then you've got to jump out like this to pick something up. There, so we picked up the metal salvage, and then we get back into the sea moth. Right. And what are the controls for the sea moth? I mean, at the moment, it's, it's everything seems pretty good with it. I do like this. Ah, uh, this is this thing is awesome. Right, we got beacons over there, and we got camera drones. I think I want to go this way. I think this is the way to the island. We want to go to the island first, and then we're going to go back to the wreck, and we're going to see if we can get the last battery charger piece. I don't know where the battery charger piece is. This is a bit that's um, bothering me, is I don't actually know where it is. <laughs> okay, he's, he's a very maneuverable machine. Right, I think we want to go roughly this way. Just going to exit a minute, and we'll have a look around. Right, so our uh, stuff is over there. I'm looking there. That I think it's over there. That cloud sort of low on the horizon, I think, is the direction that we want to go. So I'm, I am going roughly the right direction. Ah, if you look in the water there, you can sort of see there's a trick of the light with the water. It's allowing the island to become visible just sort of through the water before it actually becomes visible anywhere at, at anywhere else. But this this is where we want to go. We need to get to that island. I can run over to the other side and to those uh, habitats. We've got everything else that we need to get out of them. I just need to be able to get the lantern fruits and stuff. Can we actually beach up on here? Or is that going to damage it? I think I can, I think I can beach it. Just like that. I'm hoping that I can come back to it and that doesn't act. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that, that genuinely scared. That genuinely terrified me, that did. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that genuinely scared me. Right, if I go into the sea moth a minute. Yeah, I can. I, I can sort of come forward a little bit. Lights are on on this one. How do we turn the lights off? Ah. It's just like that. Okay, we'll, we'll leave the lights off. Do I know anything else about this one? We've uh, It doesn't actually say any other details about it. I've got the compass. There's that last HUD there that we will... I think I remember what I wanted that magnetite for. It's something to do with that HUD thing. We will have a look at that. I just picked some Bulbo tree samples, which are actually for... Oh, no, no, I don't want to drop. I want to consume them so that I got food and water. They, they provide both food and water, which are absolutely brilliant. We we'll take that. We've got some water. I, actually, I got some disinfected water on me. So if I take that as well. Now I'm good to go with that. So I need lantern fruit. How much space do these take up? Right, they take up a big lot of space. I need lantern fruit and I also want some of these as well. We want the Chinese potatoes. There. That takes that much space. And then I also want marble melon. I'm going to take those as well. And that is another big lot of space. And that is also food h2o right so i want to get these back home as rapidly as i can now so that they don't go bad and i can get them into the planter if i can get them into the planter i'm hoping that they will be able to provide me with more stuff and the sea moth you can see it on the um on the hud which is absolutely awesome you can also see the camera drones so with that again that's, that's actually really useful being able to see the camera drones but it's it's the sea moth being able to see the sea moth that is the most useful one because um, I'm not likely to lose it. And that one was a little bit more costly with materials for building. So let's just jump in here. And then we can turn around. Oh, didn't I have a... Did I have a beacon? Did I make a beacon? Yes, I have got a beacon. Let me just climb out a second. I'm going to leave a beacon here on this island. I'll come over to here. And I will put beacon in there like that. And then we'll go... Oops. We go like that. There, beacon. Right. Now, if I move away from it, can I see it? Yes, the beacon is there. Right. Can I think we can actually name them. You've got your beacon three. Yeah, edit name. Okay, so we're going to there and we'll just call this one island. Simple as that. There we go. Island. Edit beacon name. Is it? Is it now saying island? Island 11. Excellent. That's what we wanted. Now we can go into the sea moth. Did I just throw the beacon down? No, I didn't. No, I've, I've still still got it. 
For a minute, I thought I'd actually chucked it down by mistake. So we've got the fruit. Let's head back as quickly as we can. We want to go back to our home and we'll put the three fruits. We've got the melon, we've got the lantern thingy, and we've got the, the, the potato. We'll also build a second planter. I might put the lantern fruit in one um, in one of the planters and the other two, the marble melon and the... Um, Chinese, is it Chinese potato? I think it's Chinese potato. We'll put those in the other planter. There are all sorts of titi creatures in the darkness, but I don't care about the titi creatures anymore. They no longer concern me, not since our encounter with that absolute monster of a toothy creature. Everything else just seems tame by comparison. We don't actually have to worry about it. It does not concern us anymore. Right, let's do that, and then we jump out, and we go straight into here. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Right, this time I actually remembered to switch this one off, so it's, it's not actually scanning at the moment. So our power needs should be sufficient at the moment. So I want to go into here a second, and I want to take uh, old marble melon, fruit, edible, old, and old. Right, so they don't, they really, really don't last very long at all. Uh, I want to go to that one, and I want to build an, I don't have it. Okay, uh, let's ignore that. Let's just use this one a second. We'll put that one in there. Put that one in there. And we'll put that one in there. Why is it doing that? Right, there, there they are growing. They're growing, that's all that matters. So if I just go and very quickly uh, process the titanium stuff that we've got. We're going to go into the fabricator. We're going to go to resources. And we picked up four more for the metal salvage. We can make another grow bed in here. And then our next step, so well, we've got this grow bed, this one will be ready to go, hopefully at some point. Uh, I want you, and I want a grow bed. There we go. Let's back out a little bit. There. Now I want to put it over this way, like that. It should be matching. If I wait for it to construct, there we go. Yes, that is fairly well matched. I like this. So how long does it take for these to grow? It's going to be the next thing. Uh, use planter. If I'm looking here, I can't actually rip them up. Tooltip, purple, vegetation. I got space for one more plant, which I will plant later on, but we're not going to worry about it now. So we've got some food growing. It's still dark out there. We've got one more of these beacons, which I'm actually going to take, I'm going to put into there. We're going to be using that beacon. That beacon is what we're going to use when we get over to where that wreck was. Now, I don't remember where the wreck was exactly. But I do have a rough idea. It was over this way somewhere. It was a huge, great, big piece of wreck. We found a, um, we found a, a, one of the life pods there. We found a life pod, and then we also found this huge, great, big wreck. So we sort of searched around all of it. There is another toothy guy over there. We can just ignore him. Just go sailing on past. He may roar at us. But that's. <laughs> I just smeared a, 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 a peeper fish all over the windshield. This is not what you want. The windscreen is now covered in bits of peeper. <laughs> okay, it's actually doing it. I don't know what the, um, the, uh, the, the, the lightning bolt type thing is off to the side. I'm assuming that's power, but it looks like every time we hit something, we lose power. I'm assuming that's not ideal. We don't really want that to keep happening. I don't remember these... Okay, there's a big toothy thing behind us. Let's ignore it. Keep going. I'm sure it's over here somewhere. Now, where is that wreck? There is a sand shark. I remember what they're called. I actually remember the name. And it was somewhere around here. We got the big leviathans over there. Actually, I don't think it was over this far. It wasn't next to those things, was it? Maybe it was. There's more sand sharks down there. Let's ignore the sand sharks. In what direction was it? It was near the red field. What is that thing? Okay, that looks like something with teeth. Okay, he's just he's just done me some damage and he's he chased me. I don't like that one. I don't like it. It's big and it's scary and is it still chasing me? Where is it? Where'd it go? Right, he's ignoring me now. That's fine. Ignoring me is a good thing. I'm, I'm quite happy to just sort of blend into the environment and be forgotten. Now, what else have we got? So, there is a... There's a, there's a bit of wreckage down there. 
But it was a big piece of wreckage that we had. Piece of there. Right, there's some bits of stuff. I got a feeling that we may have gone too far. There was... Oh, hang on, what's this? Is this it? This is not the one that I was looking at, although this is wreckage. Maybe this will... Uh, is, has this got anything on it? This isn't the one that we were looking at. This isn't at all what we were looking at. We had a huge great... What is going on here? Oh, it's... <laughs> Savage little creatures, aren't they? Can't do anything to me. Doesn't look like you were getting in. Right, I'm going to leave that. I want to go back to the one that... Is that it? I'm I'm thinking that it's not. That doesn't seem big enough, actually. No, and it was it was a, it was different. It was definitely different. So that's not it there. I'm still swimming around trying to find it. I got no idea where they are, but there are a number of these great big fish over here. I really have no idea what those are. I'm assuming that those things are very very bad. They they don't look good. They they don't look nice. They keep shrieking at me. I think I've just gone way too far. I think I'm completely missing where I was supposed to go to try and find that po that that uh, wreck. But it's... I don't know where to go. I, I, there's all these things underneath me that I could explore, which I'm choosing not to because I want to go back to the wreck. Because that's where I'm... I'm certain that that is where the bit w is for the battery charger. So many people said that's where you got to go. That's where the battery charger is. So I'm sort of, I'm hoping that that is actually the case. However, I'm now starting to think that um, we'll just explore the first wreck that we find. It's the entrance to the cave. That's the main thing. That's the main point about it. It was the entrance to the big cave that we wanted to get to. It's a very eerie place going around all of these mushroom places. I know that this isn't quite where I want to be either. This is kind of outside of where I want to be, but oh, what's that? Pretty sure that is actually something that I've already got, but we'll go and take a look at it. Cyclops Bridge Fragment. I've already got that. I think I do. Let me, just in case I haven't got it, let me just scan it quickly. Don't think there's anything too dangerous down here. Oh, no, I didn't have it. I have got it now, though. So we've got a Cyclops Bridge Fragment. What else have we got down here? That is a Creature Egg. I cannot scan said Creature Egg. I don't see any other things here at the moment. That sounds actually pretty cool. That does sound very, very cool. Can't scan that, but I will pick the salt up. Let's just grab that. Okay, let's go on to the next bit. Let's go and see what else we can find. I want the battery charger. That is my aim today, is to get... The, we've done the first bit. We've done the grow thing. Everybody should be happy that I've done the grow thing. Okay, what have we got here? Is this scannable? Cyclops hole fragment. Definitely want to scan that one. I think I went past a whole load of Cyclops hull fragments previously. Right, there's a lot of screaming going on down here that sounds very, very eerie and, and slightly concerning. Right, we've got lithium. We can pick up chunks of lithium. This is all good. What else have we got? Uh, I don't see anything else down here. Ooh, what is that? I think I need something special to be able to um, pick that up. Salt deposit, yeah, special equipment. I don't have said special equipment yet, so we won't worry about it just yet. That screaming is very off-putting. It really is. It's not nice. Now, is there anything else to scan just in the immediate vicinity? It doesn't look like there is. There's a little bit of wreckage there. I'm going to ignore that. And let me just run back over to my Cyclops. And we'll carry on again. Not Cyclops. Seamoth. On to the Seamoth. It's nice and fast, this thing. It is very speedy, and I suspect it's partly the speed that has kind of um, thrown me with regards to getting in the right place for stuff. Now, what is that? Shale. Remember that materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. Uh huh. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. 
Apparently, I owe them three million credits. Good luck getting that back. Good luck getting it back. Right. Um, does that? Did I pick up some diamond? Did, is that what I got? I need two bits of diamond. We got lithium diamond. Right. I need some more diamond, and we can make a laser cutter. That will at least get us started on some things. What are you? Are you? You're not a scannable thing. So we'll ignore you. Sandstone there. They sometimes have some useful stuff. You crabby thing, you go away. I don't like you. You're mean. You're very mean to me. Right, a bit of titanium there. I want some more shale. That is what I actually need. Um, the lead and so on is, is all well and good, but it's, it's the shale that I need to look for. Uh, oh, there's a piece. Is that it? No, that's not shale. That's limestone. And we've got sandstone. We've got limestone and more. There's a lot of fish around here. I don't see any more shale. Apparently it's hard to come, but I need two diamonds. Leviathan class. Life forms in the region. Are you certain whatever you're doing is worth it? <laughs> no, I'm really not. I think it's time to go. Let's go back to the sea moth. I'm going to go this side of it a minute, though, and I will just see if I can see any uh, shale on this cliff face. Because that was... Oh. I don't want to go too far. I have only a few seconds of oxygen remaining. Where is it? Where is my moth? There is my moth. Let's go back to it and get on board. Enter the sea moth. There we go. Right, oxygen has been returned. Fully restored. Now, there are Leviathan class. I'm going to see if I can hit that thing. No, nope, I missed. Uh... Right, now we got to be careful. It's, it's deep down there. Look at that. Whoa. <gasps> shale! I can see shale. There are multiple Leviathan class life forms detected, but there is shale right there. Is it worth it? Yes, I'm sure it's worth it. Remember what she said? Are you sure it's worth it? Yes, I am. I am absolutely certain. Thermal plant. What is that? I don't know. Get 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 in get in get in get in board get on board. I, d I don't know what that thing is, but I need to go and scan it. I know I need to scan it. Oh, it was a sand shark. And um, hopefully I can do that. Scan. Hurry up! Scan faster. I'm so, I don't like it here. I really don't like this place. Sometimes blueprint, thermal plant blueprint. Okay. Um. Right. Let's go on board. Look at it. Look at that thing. Vicious. Absolutely. What does that believe me? Have you given me a clue? What is this? Is this what I wanted? I don't think this is what I... Silver ore. Ah! Oh, it's teasing me. It's absolutely teasing me. Right. We will not stray far from our Seamoth. We are going... This is our lifeline. This is all that's going to keep us alive. While we go... Into the deeper bits. Right. Uh, I kind of want to hug this cliff, I think. I feel I would be a little bit safer if I stayed somewhere nearby. I can hear lots of TT things behind me. But so far, nothing like majorly dead. Is that thing going to come for me? There is. Okay, now I am rather nervous. What is that thing down there? Is that a baby one of those? That is definitely a Leviathan class life form that we do not want to be tangling with, but there is that shale. Can I get that shale without that thing eating me? Look at it. No! Ah! Okay, it's 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 coming for me. It's coming for me! I'm too young to die! I'm too pretty! Eat somebody else! There's got to be other survivors. Eat them. They're tastier than me. Um, I'm far too sweet. I'll just give you two things. You, you, you'll be ill if you eat me. Trust me. I will just make you ill. Um, right. We got that thing over there. It's uh, I, I don't think it's worth trying to fight that one in order to get... There was one... Um, I think there was a piece of lithium there. I think there... Not lithium. Um, a, a piece of shale that may have had the other diamond that I want. But I don't think it's worth going after it. I really don't. Okay, there is a box over there. I did see the box. Don't worry. I'm going over there to see if it's 
That looks like a laser cutter fragment. It doesn't look like some... Oh, all right. If I have to. Uh, we'll, we'll drink Vital that one. Signs drink that one as well. That's all of our water. Right, I'm going I'm going for it. Going for it. What are you? It looks like... Uh, it's a laser cutter. I don't want a laser cutter. I want shale. Right, there is no shale around here. There is also Leviathan class life forms, which I don't want to get involved with. Okay, there's a lot of those red things around here. I did just jump out and they savagely attacked me. Uh, but they, they can keep hitting the hull of this creek, this um, this wonderful, wonderful sea moth, and it doesn't seem to do any damage. But there, I think that's actually something that I need to scan. Yes, that is something I need to scan. Let's scan that quickly. Sea moth. I've already got the sea moth. It's not something I needed to scan. There it is. At last, we have found it. Okay, and this is also the entrance to the cave over here somewhere as well. So we've got that. I think is a sea moth fragment down there. The entrance to the cave was up this end somewhere. It was near that wreck over there. There was definitely an entrance to a cave here somewhere. And I'm pretty sure it's actually the same cave that is not that far from our house. So, don't think we need to worry about it that much. However, what I am going to do is I'm going to jump out and here a minute. And I am going to deposit this one right here. I'm going to put you there. And I'm going to edit the name to say uh, cave. Cave slash wreck. Like that. There we go. Cave slash wreck. So we know what that one is. And then I want to get back into you a minute. Just to see more. And I want to go over this way. Now, people have been telling me that it was in one of the small rooms on this wreck that the... Um, the, the battery charge of fragment was, and I Detecting missed it. Increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. Right. Well, I, I've done that already. I'm I'm going to do it in a bit. When when we get back home, I'll do it again. At the moment, I want to look through here, and I want to see if there is anything in here to scan. I'm looking round. Right. There's a laser cutter fragment there, which is no good to us. Oh, something. Command chair. Get that one. I'm going to scan absolutely everything I can in here. New blueprint acquired. We've got the... It helps that we've now got the Seamoth just outside, so oxygen is actually going to be really easy to uh, maintain. So I'm looking around. Battery charger. In here. Oh, what's this? I'm going to get lost now, aren't I? I'm going to get stuck in here and hopelessly lost. Right, there's nothing in there. There's nothing in here. This this is where I get hopelessly lost. Inside the wreckage. And I, I die from a lack of oxygen. That's what's going to happen. So let's let's just go out a minute. We go back into the sea moth. The sea moth has taken damage. I'm going to have to repair that one in a minute. Right, it's 54. Okay. Oxygen is full. I will go back in here a minute. And which way did I go? I went... Oh, I came in and then I went up that way. And then we came over this way so there was nothing to scan around there. There's another laser cutter fragment there. Laser cutter fragments are easy to find. We got loads of those. We don't need laser cutter fragments. What we need is the battery charger. Ah! Now what do we got? Battery charger fragment! That's what I wanted. I can now make the battery charger. Yeah, it's recommended that I get some food. Oh, what's that? There's another one there. I already got it now. Don't need it. Right. Let's get out of here. Let's go home. If I can, I, this is where I get lost and stuck. No, I'm not. I am not going to drown on board this ship. It is not going to happen. See, we're out. Easy. Easily done without any problems. And we'll, we'll go home. We'll worry about repairing this thing when we get back. Uh, does anybody remember where I dropped my... Oh, there's my grav trap. I'm just trying to remember where I dropped my grav trap. It's over here. If I just park over next to this one a second, we'll grab a bit of food, because um, 
we, we are we are running low so i want to just grab a few of you who it doesn't matter who you are you're all welcome at the banquet every single one of you every single one that i can carry that is got another peeper there oh inventory full uh i want to go into here and i want to right minus three h2o if i eat those minus seven if i eat the peeper just as it is i do need to eat something though i have to oh no i didn't mean to drop it i want to do that vital sign stabilizing right let's grab you and i want another peeper because they're, they're better they're better food come here come here peeper there we go right We've done that bit i also want a do i have any I don't have any room, so I, I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. So let's go back on board and we'll go back home. I need to park this one up outside the habitat and I need to um, run a quick repair on it. Oh, habitat's over this way. Now, do you repair this? Excuse me. Do you repair this one with the repair tool or do we use something else to do it? I'm just going to park it here and we'll try the repair tool first. So I want that one. No, it's not. It's not habitat builder that I want. It's there's a repair tool here somewhere. Repair tool, that one. I put that one on, and if I jump out a minute, and then I look at it. Nope, nope, and yes, you. Right. So repair. Ah, it just repairs it straight up. Ideal. Look at that. Now, if I go and take a look on board, power is low. So how do you how do you change the power? Do you have to like do a fuel cell thing? I think you've got to have a fuel cell. Fuel cells shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome aboard, Captain. There is some sustenance. So let's just deal with that first. We'll gobble these down. Uh, cook peeper. Vital signs. Stabilizing. And another one. And I'll keep hold of that one a minute. I should have cured one of the, I should have cured one of those. That's all right. Uh, I can't actually move it up anymore. Right, that's a cured one, so that one will keep. This one won't keep for very long. I'll just do a few other bits. Oh, hang on. There was one thing that I want to do in the fabricator. We want to look at deployables. No, it's not under deployables. It must be under here, tools. Uh, scanner, we got propulsion. Uh, no, I know it's, it's going to be one of the ones that goes on the wall, isn't it? We've got a floating air pump. First aid kits, radiation suit fins. Right, there's nothing else that I want. I've already got the high capacity tank. Uh, which means that it is using the habitat builder that we want to do it with. We want to put that one like that, and then we want to go on to the... Ooh, we have food. Indoor grow bed. It just... Oh, that's because I got it on this one. Right. If I go to this one here, we can then go to... Uh, no, radio. I, you know, it would actually be useful if I built a radio down here. It would save me having to go all the way up to the top every time. And I'm going to put the radio on this bit. This is kind of our, like, our main bit at the moment so we'll we'll dump a radio on the wall right there and we do have another message so let's just listen to that one first aurora we're approaching the planet now we have a landing site for you that's well it's better than the alternatives we've sent you the coordinates it'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit we should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time then we're coming in to get you cross your fingers the weather holds and don't leave us waiting Sunbeam out. Sunbeam will arrive in 39 minutes. Okay. Does that mean it's like game over for us? Is that is that it? I suspect that that is not it. I suspect that that is sun, Sunbeam landing site. We need to get over there. It's in 39 minutes. That's going to be in tomorrow's episode. You know that's got to be in tomorrow's episode. There's no way we're doing that in today's episode. Right, I can pick up a marble melon. Pick up Chinese potato and lantern tree. Is that I can pick up a lantern fruit? Nice. Right, so I've I've got a lantern fruit on there. I'm gonna put go into the uh, use plants like that. I can put the other one. Can I move that around? Apparently I can't. I can, oh, it does it automatically. It moves it around automatically. Right, that's fine. So we we'll do that. So we'll have another lantern fruit growing at the back. So if I say pick up the, what does that do? Oh, right. So, I'm gonna, over here, I can just take that one. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to eat it. That was a mistake. It was definitely a mistake. Right, if I uh, pick that one up, I can uh, use planter there. Oh, it's still... It's, it's, why has it suddenly started doing that? That's a very strange thing for it to do. There we go. Yeah, see the marble melon? That... No! 
Ah! Oh, you idiot, Frith. You just ate the marble melon. It's the only one that we've got. That means we're going to go back to the island to get another one. Okay, uh, Frith is not too bright, but we, we have had food that has done nothing for me. So well, we got that. We, we, we do have that going for us. Right, um, let's see if we can do something a little bit more successfully. Got the radio fabricated. There we go, battery charger. Wiring kit, copper wire. Wiring kit requires silver, doesn't it? I don't actually think I've got silver at the moment. Look in here. I've got diamond. i got diamond. I need to use the diamond. Right, well, actually, we're going to go and use the diamond first. It's the first thing that we're going to use. What's the computer chip for? I know I made a computer chip for something. I think it was this in here. If you look into this one here, this fabricator, uh, you have got uh, the scanner room range upgrade. Scanner room HUD chip. I need a piece of magnetite. And I do actually have a piece of magnetite. So let's go over this way. And the magnetite, I think I left it in this locker here. Magnetite. There we go. Nailed it. And... I'm going to leave the diamond and the lithium here because that's particularly valuable stuff. And I don't actually need that one until we go back to the Aurora. We're going to the Aurora soon. We are definitely going to the Aurora very, very soon. I would like to because there's all sorts of stuff that I want to see on there. Right, we got this one. Scanner room HUD chip. I want that one. Right, we've got the HUD chip. Come out of there. And then I go like this. There we go. Look at that. Streams data from scanner rooms to the HUD. So now I can go over here and I can say, drop down. We've got quartz, reef back, salt deposits, wreck, titanium. I don't want any of those. Data box. This is, this is not stuff that I want. Fragment. Heat area. Limestone. It had it last time. It was letting me look for the stuff. I, I, no, I, I don't want any of this. This is no good to me. It's so good of looking for this titanium over there. Yeah, that's that's great and all. Right, stop scan. How do I look for the stuff that I actually want to look for? You let me look for it previously. You actually let me go and look for it, and now you're telling me that I can't. I, I'm I'm bitterly disappointed. I really am. Okay, I'm going out this way. We're jumping out. We're going over to the sea moth, and we are going to go for a little swim. Welcome aboard, Captain. Hello. Now then, we have the camera drone down over here is near this cave entrance. This is where we want to go. We want to go down into this cave. This is, this is what's telling us where it is. It's there, right there. So we've got that camera right there. Camera one. Cave entrance. Now, there was lithium, not lithium, um, is it lithium? No, it's not, it's, um, uh, oh, what is the word? Shale. There was shale on the wall when I came down in here previously. So I'm looking down in here, is this the same cave that we were in previously? Is this just like, is it just like a really, really big cave under the water? Can't okay. hope that it is. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Oops. Uh, right, so I cannot go any lower with this one. I need something different to be able to get in. There is a great big snake-like creature over there, but there is also... There. Shale. Can I get it? I got power. What happens if I go below 200 meters? I'm hoping I can. That's no good. What am I going to do with that? What's this? That's just lithium. I don't want lithium. That's gold. It's huge outcrops of gold down here. Wow. Uh, is that what's, what's going on here? Regress shell. Scan that one. Maybe useful. You never know. What have we got? Uh, red water is already scanned. I'm looking for more shale. We had one shale. That is all I've... Seriously, it's just one shale. That's all I'm going to get. I'm, I'm disappointed. I am disappointed. Right. I can't go any lower with this one. I wonder if there is like a depth upgrade that I can get for it. We are approaching the depth that I can get to. I'm just sort of inching along the ceiling here. And I can't, yeah, I can't get low enough to go underneath it safely without 
dying horribly. So we'll ignore that. I don't think we're going to be going any further in here. We know that it's here, so we can we can explore it at some point. But um, it doesn't look to be any more shale available anywhere for me to get at the moment. She's bitterly disappointing because I want the diamond. I just need one more diamond, and I can get I can build the laser cutter. One more diamond is all I need. I'm wondering if it's not showing the shale because it's not it do, it doesn't actually exist on there. Copper or a magnetite for a range upgrade. Scanner room speed upgrade. Right, we don't need to worry about any of those for the moment. I'm going to have a look. Oh, we got three now. Is that going to give us another magnetite? Lithium, magnetite, metal salvage, quartz. We got reef backs we can look for. Shale chunk, that's what I want. Find me some shale chunks. Please find me lots of shale chunks. I need you to find me some. Look. Scanning, right there is a shale chunk. It's actually working now. My scanner room is working. I'm gonna let it keep sort of scanning and we'll go over here and we're going to control the camera. Camera one. Takes a while for it to oh there we go. We're on camera one. Now then where is that shale chunk? There was there was one showing on the scanner. We'll move over this way. It was definitely showing somewhere. Where is it? Ooh, shale chunks. Right, they are underneath us. They are down in this pit. So we're going to take the camera down. I don't know if the camera has a maximum depth. But let us descend. There is the shale chunks. Is that the other side? Is that like miles away or is it... Oh, no, it's... They're on the wall there, 200 meters down. Right, it's just... They're literally just inside. If I bring this one over here, I got two, three shale chunks right here. I think I just hit something then. We're going to stop right there. And we're going to come out of this one. There we go. And I will stop scanning for now. Right, so I know where they are. I know where those are. We can go and get those. That will get us our diamond, which means it will have everything ready. And I, I really do want to go as soon as possible to go over to where the, the sunbeam is going to be. Uh, I, I want to actually see what this um, the site is. But we need to go back down here, and we go right down as low as this one will let us go, and then we can jump out, and we can swim down, we can get those couple of bits of shale. Hopefully, that will be enough on there that we've... Uh, there's three of them. There was three of them there. Those three, one of them, as one of them's got diamond on it, then we are good to go. We, we can go and make the laser cutter. We've got everything else we need. We'll take a couple of spare fire extinguishers with us, just in case we need them. And we will be away. Right, if you stop right here, I'll jump out. And we'll whiz down over here. There is the camera, and it's lighting up the first shell chunk. So there it is. It's really difficult to spot this stuff. There it is. Right, that's lithium. That's no good. Uh, where is the second one? I switched the... Oh, I switched the HUD off, didn't I? That is magnetite down there. Uh... Right, let's... Where is it? It's a lot easier when you've got the camera drone telling you exactly where the stuff is. There were three... Oh, there's one. No, that's more magnetite. Where is the shale chunk? There was a shale chunk down here somewhere. What's this? Oh, that's red water. There's a shale chunk. There we go. Diamond! I got it! Two diamonds is all we needed. That is what we needed. I've got what I needed. Let's go back to the sea moth. Let's escape this monstrous place. Look at it. It's very purple in here, isn't it? Very, very purple. This, this is it's actually eerily beautiful, but at the same time, strangely terrifying. Um, I think it's time to go. I, I, th I do think it is actually time to go. Uh, there's that. That one's down. I don't, I don't want to go below crush depth. Up there. There's where I need to go. Straight up there. That's where I need to go. There we go. He's through. And we are safe. I still need to go and get one of those melons, although I think I ate all the melons from the grow beds on the island. So finding those melons may not necessarily be the easiest. I can't believe I ate the only melon. The only melon that we've got, and I ate it. How ridiculous do you get? I mean, seriously, what is wrong with me? 
Uh, let's just bring that one up there. We'll switch the lights off so it can serve the power a little bit. And enter base. Okay. We just run down here a second. We'll see how our grow beds are doing. The grow beds are doing wonderful. I am very pleased with our grow beds. We now have grow beds. And we have windows. The only thing that I would like now is some lights, I think, off, the, off each side. The sunbeam is going to arrive soon. We don't have time to go and see the sunbeam today. We will be doing that in tomorrow's episode. But before we do that, we are going to do one last thing today. We're going to fabricate the laser cutter. I have the battery. I have the titanium. I have the cave sulfur. And I have the diamond. So let's go and have a look in the locker here. Right, those batteries are both at 100%. So I need to keep those. I want you and I want you. Let's come out of there. Uh, like that and we want to look in this locker here right there is dead batteries so I'm gonna put the two good batteries in there and I'm gonna take a dead battery with me just because and then we will go back to the fabricator we will go into personal and we go to tools and we will go to the laser cutter at last that is what so we got everything we need now to go on board the Aurora that's the next thing that we want to do well actually we do want to go and see the Sunbeam arrival point I think that's kind of I feel that that's an important thing to do. I, I really do. But uh, a couple more fire extinguishers, I think, probably wouldn't hurt for our trip to the Aurora. So we'll take some of those. And then I'll get some mesh and we'll get some med kits. I'm going to need a supply of food as well. We're going to need lots of stuff. I need some... I'm going to have to... Uh, there's an old cooked peeper. If I eat that one... See, now I'm, I'm very, very thirsty all of a sudden. So, we're, that, that's kind of backfired on me a bit, hasn't it? So, we don't want to do that. Um, I need salt, but I also need the coral. And I don't have the coral here. And I have no other water on me. We have no... Oh, I've got one of those bladder fish. That's good. And I do have a coral tube sample. Got one of them. There's two batteries there that are dead. Uh, let me get the battery before I forget about that. I've got these two in here. Uh, that one's charged and that one's charged. Uh, do I have any? I don't think I've got any silver. I think silver is something I don't have. But let me just go into here and water. We'll make one out of the bladder fish and we'll drink a little bit of water. And then we'll go and get some, um, we can make some other stuffs. Right, I have more water. Water is all good now. So we, 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 thirst is quenched. We want to get a couple of coral tube samples and... Uh, we've got enough salt, I believe. There's just the coral tube samples that I want for a minute. If I get those a second, and I'll also grab a few more fish, and we can salt those. I actually might need to look for a bit more salt while I'm at it, but um, let me grab that peeper. The peepers are probably the best ones to get, purely because they are... they give the most sustenance for the amount of space they take up. That's why I'm trying to grab those rather than anything else. Uh, let's get you down there. Come here, Peeper. There you go. Oop. I didn't mean to pick up the Grav Trap. The Grav Trap is supposed to just sit here and be Grav Trappy. Uh, so let's put you in there like that, and we will deploy you. There you go. Right, that one can stay there and be deployed. We will head off. Uh, you go away. Right, I want you. I want a Peeper. Come here, Peeper. Mia, don't run away. I want to be friends. Well, I actually want you to be friends with my stomach. But I'm sure that is quite acceptable to you. And there is a coral tube over here, so we'll go and grab that one. And we want a few samples from here. How much space have I got enough for four samples? One, two, three, four. Right. That is all of the samples that I can take. There's a crash fish there. He must have been out the other end of the thingy. Again, he doesn't concern me any longer. I have faced bigger problems than him. So the sunbeam. What is the sunbeam going to do? I, 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 it doesn't feel like this is the end of the game. I'm sure that this can't be it. Because that we, we haven't really done a great deal for um, in order for that to like be the end of the game. It, it doesn't feel like that would be it. It feels like there's more to it. Let's go in here. We want to make some bleach first. I have another radio transmission. Right, I had to... Oh, I didn't have enough salt. Okay, let me go into the locker a minute. And, yeah, I've got those. I've got all these people. I need lots of salt. I'll have to go and search for some salt in a minute. 
We have to do that in our next episode. We have run out. I got one salt there. And I got a salt there. And what have I got in you? Have I got any salt in this one? No salt in this one. Uh, no silver either. So I, I, need, I need silver. I need salt. I need all sorts of stuff. Probably should have gotten the salt first so that I had enough for the um, curing all the peepers because they really don't last very long uh, while you're holding them in your bags. Okay, that's done. Uh, do we do this now or not? We At the beginning of our next episode, we will see what the radio message is. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time... Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.